my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I am here to do a mini love reading for the sign of Pisces. This is the last one, the last zodiac sign within the mini series that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I really hope you do stay. Um, if you would like to join me over on Patreon for any denomination, you can increase it, decrease it at any time, cancel at any time. It's no obligation to you, but if you are an active member by May 2nd, you could be in the running to win a free copy of my Exposed Oracle. It's 80 cards. It's what they're thinking and feeling and wanting to say um, to you, basically. And if you purchase the prequel to Loving You, the first 10 people could win a free Willow Vines bracelet that included I have six gifts left um, email me for details the bracelets are also $20 they off for sale free shipping within the US and three dollars shipping internationally if you live abroad um, yeah and all you have to do to win anything any of my giveaways and I am going to give away a bracelet as well is just like the videos that you're watching um, and comment periodically so I know that you're interested and subscribe. You must be a subscriber. Thank you for your love and support. It's my way of giving back to those who give to me in any way, shape, or form. Um, and thank you to everyone who has sent me donations of any denomination. It helps me out tremendously. This is all I do for work, as well as sending any gifts. You know, these were gifts the Hermit Tarot, uh, Pink Divine Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Um, and then this is Love Messages by All Things Intuitive, which has cards like that. Just to name a few, I have more. And if you create decks of your own and you'd like me to showcase them, ship it on over and I will gladly showcase it for you. Anyways, so with the overall energy, we have reconnecting. Let's have a do-over, reconciliation. Pinky promise, I always come back to you. Yeah, circle back round. I feel like this person always comes back to you. Um, in their head and in their heart, but they do have a pattern of, I'm here, I'm back, hi, and then they kind of go away, and then they're back. Um, I feel like they've allowed other people to come between the two of you, whether you dated this person or not. So if this is an ex of yours, there was infidelity on one side, your side, their side. Um, I feel like whoever does the leaving and returning, keeps whoever keeps circling back, the circle back girl or guy, um, they're the one who cheated They're That's the person who cheated. Um, I feel like it happened multiple times. So I do feel like you're a little fed up with this individual. So if they do circle back this time, you'll be like, um, no, you bring the same bullshit. Every time you come back, I'm done with this crap. But for some of you, you didn't date this person. So it's almost like they feel like they cheated because they're so connected to you because they always come back to you. But it's not actually, it's not technically cheating because you guys weren't dating. Um, you just known this person for a while. I feel like you've been friends with them or acquaintances of some kind. And some of you could have crossed the line into sexy land a time or two while others of you just thought about it and wanted to. Um, I mean, if you dated them, you probably crossed the line anyways, but I'm talking about if you just stayed friends um i feel like there could have been moments where it got a little spicy a little heated but then they'd kind of go off in a different direction and choose everyone but you which i feel i feel like that made you feel really insecure like what's wrong with me like you seem you seem interested and then you ditch me is it because i'm always there well i feel like you're not fucking there anymore so when this this time when they come around or the very last time they came around i feel like you kind of pushed them away or you just acted like you didn't care and before, you always cared. You're like, oh, yay, you're here. And this last time, you're like, yeah, whatever. You're going to do the same thing again, so fuck it. I don't care. But that's the card, reconnecting. I feel like this time, they're serious because you weren't serious anymore. You lost that, that spark for them. So they're like, oh, how could you not still want me? How could you not want my sexy ass? What the hell? because you treat me like shit so go fuck off like I don't know I feel like you're just fed up with someone's shit basically but that's waking them up so that's beautiful so what they're thinking about you is I think we should see other people and I think that this is you Pisces I think that that's what you're saying now because this is what they were doing to you whether you dated this person or not like they were choosing every every other option except for you and it's like well if you want to see other people fine 
I think we should. I'll see other people too. That's what they're thinking about. The fact that you said that or that you mentioned that you have options or if you if you told this person that other people are interested in you or they're seeing it because they are spying on you because they're spying energy here and I feel like they're very hurt by what they see, especially if you are entertaining other options or if you're looking damn fine and people are noticing, um, this person's noticing too and it's making them jealous as shit. Reaching out, seeking attention, planning to meet up. So if you're getting attention from other people, like I said, it's breaking their heart and they're seeing all of this. Um, but I kind of feel like it's making them want to reach out to you because they just have this gut feeling that you're going to be reaching out to other people because they're reaching out to you. So this is what's going over and over and over in their head. I want to get you drunk. Um, I do feel like with this, I don't feel it's very sinister. It's not as sinister as it sounds. I feel like you guys, when you, every time you guys have connected or hung out as friends, I do feel like for a lot of you, there was alcohol involved. Um, and there could have been some drunken moments, you know, sexting, you know, drunk, drunk texts, you know, sharing feelings, um, and then regretting what was said the next day or done the next day. I almost feel like you, when you guys crossed the line, no matter how major or minor it was, like if you just, you know, if a toe crossed the line or if it was the whole damn body, you couldn't see the line no more. I feel like there was alcohol involved. So that's what somebody's thinking about. Like, you know, I chose to get drunk with other people and follow through with people that don't matter, but the one person that does matter, I told them when I was drunk, but now I regret it. Something like that. I feel like someone was very vocal when they, someone is very vocal when they drink, like, um, and they're very honest. It's very truthful communication because that's the only time they can really share their feelings because their heart is locked up locked up and lock it some of you have dealt with um some of you have spent some time in jail or your love interest has or your ex or whoever the hell this is but i i feel like with locked up and and lock it even though this person wasn't letting anyone in or you weren't they've always carried you in their heart with them you've been with this person energetically this whole time and vice versa and i kind of feel like they want to let you know this now. Um, this love scares me. Yeah, this is why they were acting like it was sex only. Like, they don't give a shit about love. Fuck love. Fuck commitment. You know, been there, done that. Didn't work out for me. Don't want to do it no more. No matter who it's with. Um, this person was just... They're very jaded, but they were acting like an asshat, basically. Like, like I don't care about anyone, anyone's feelings because my ex stomped on my heart. So fuck every female, fuck every man, you know, it's something like that. And they were putting you in that category too, but they're kicking their ass. They're kicking themselves in, in the ass now. Um, 11 is twin flame. It's a very spiritual connection along with seven as well, which is what you end with. I just, I feel like a lot of lies were told because this person was very guarded. Um, I don't want to let anyone in because I don't want to get hurt. 